this is part two. Uh, this is going to be uh, the butchering and processing, getting these guys all cut up. Uh, I'm butcher them a little later this morning. They're pretty mellow, so hopefully uh, it'll go smoothly. And uh, we'll just get them in the barn and uh, run them through. But uh, these have been, you know, super, uh, super easy to raise. I mean, they're just kind of doing their things. All of our baby chickens decided to move in with them. I think for the extra free food, but uh, get all set up and kind of walk you through the process. The first thing I realized I had to do is I got this panel. I've got the inside of the barn hitting off because I can't close my door because it's a pocket door that slides down. So I'm going to have to cut my panel off before I get started on these. Uh, I don't know why I didn't think of that before now, but I'm going to take a second and we'll uh, continue on. Okay, so we got them all locked in here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to shoot both of them. I'm not going to show that just so it doesn't get taken down, but just between the eyes and then we'll get them bled out. Okay, so this would be a good time if you don't want to see blood to go watch a different video or move along. But anyway, uh, both went down and just come underneath their chin, run a knife right into their throat and let them bleed out. And we're going to move on to getting them skinned and gutted out. Okay, so the very first thing you want to do is split the inner leg and skin down your leg, remove the foot. And we have a gambrel with a winch to lift it. But then from there you'll get it in the air so you can uh, get it gutted out and skinned. So once you get it up and have your uh, pot split there in the back, you just bring it down. Uh, we're going to get this actually skinned out and then gut it. Uh, this makes it a little less soupy. And uh, when you get down here to the front legs, you want to get those skinned out before you get your hide down over. Otherwise, you have to fight your front legs out. So quick thing on the back part. It's a little dark here, but when you get to the butt, you just cut right through the anus there and then you'll get down to the tail and you can just uh, run your meat saw or if you've got a good bead on it you can actually just cut through with your knife and it'll just keep on going down. Okay so you just uh, once you get the hide off you split it. You use your fingers to run down the inside that uh, really keeps you from poking the guts which can it's not the end of the world but it's a little bit gross. So there's not a whole lot you can show on the gutting process. I mean if you've ever gutted anything pretty much it's the standard procedure. You just want to get everything out, um, and I'll show you just some important things about the windpipe and how to get the butt out and stuff here in a second. So once you get the uh, down to the brisket here, on, on especially on land, you can actually cut through that, and pretty much the guts just fall fall out here. What I usually do is cut off the the intestine there and tie it, just so any poops don't get down into your body cavity and then you can pull it out the other way. So, uh, yeah, that is far out. And then when you get down here, you know, it's a little harder to show, but there's basically a muscle, a diaphragm muscle, which holds your heart and lungs in. And uh, you cut through that, and then you go right to the windpipe, and everything comes out. So that inside muscle, which is the diaphragm, you just cut through it right on the rib cage. It's on both sides. To the windpipe, that's what's basically holding it, and that'll be right at the top of your lungs. And if you come through with that last little piece, everything will just pop out of there. And you're good to go. Okay, once you get everything out, um, Basically, you're going to go around to the back and ream right around its butt, and you'll be able to pull uh, everything out of that cavity so it's, you can end up seeing through it. End up uh, splitting both the back legs, and then we're going to run the saw right down the spine and get her in two pieces. It's right in half. Okay, back here on the butt, I kind of mentioned this on the last one, didn't, didn't show up, but you're basically going to take your knife and cut all the way around this 
from the outside and then you come back on the inside. Sorry, it's kind of dark there, but uh, the goal is basically not to get any of the poop and or any of the contents of the bladder to spill. And if you're just real careful and like, you know, make that full circle both sides, it comes out real clean. Okay, once again, I don't know how well this is going to come through, but this is cut through and then I'll end up cutting down this side and down this side. So you can see all the way through there. And that'll come out in one neat package. And what he did on the other side, as we showed earlier, just tie that off. So everything comes out, nothing leaking. But not, but not. All your turds stay in. Very important to get this piece out. This is the windpipe. It'll be right on the inside down here. Any animal, that'll spoil your animal very quickly. So make sure you get that out. And you're just basically ready to give this thing a rinse and into the cooler. I'm all uh, near the cooler. But we're going to rinse out the, the wool here too so I can have that can. Might as well use it all. Get them all cleaned up and spray a little shower in here in the cooler too. So in product. Four halves. Uh, being here in the walk-in for probably three or four days. I'd like to do longer, but I just it's not going to work out time-wise. But uh, the next video will be on cutting them up, so that'll be part three, and I'll show you at least how I process them into uh, to meal portions. So until then, thanks for watching. Have a good one.